Spawn Camp here. In this video, we'll see a few simple ways to click game objects both in the UI or 2D and in the world or 3D. First, the scene. There's nothing in here that's important besides our spawn point object with this click behavior script. It just has a reference to a rigid body queue prefab and a public method called instantiate cube that we call from all our different methods of clicking. First, we have our normal buttons. These are just UI elements. We have a raw image and a sprite, for example. In our settings, make sure that we have raycast target ticked on. For this method, all we do is add a button component. Down at the bottom, in this on click, we'll add a new function, drag in our object with the script that we want to reference, and then choose our script and then the public method that we have. Same setup applies for the sprite. Next, we'll skip to event trigger because it's pretty similar. We have a raw image like before. At the bottom, we'll add an event trigger. And we have all these events that we can use. We'll just use the pointer down event. And once again, we'll call our public method in our click behavior script. Lastly, we'll get our pointer down handler to work. For this one, we'll create our own script. I'll call mine image click, and you'll see we already have a click behavior variable. We'll fill that in with our spawn point game object. In the script, you'll see our public click behavior variable. First, we need to be used in Unity Engine systems, and in this script, it inherits from mono behavior and will also inherit from I pointer down handler. With that done, we can call a public method called onPointerDown. This takes an argument called PointerVentData, and we'll call our public function instantiateQ from within. Like the event system component, there's a lot of different things we could use. Like before, we can call a public void onPointerUp method And this will work if we inherit from iPointerUpHandler. Now let's move on to our world objects like this red button. For this method, make sure we have a collider on our object. Then we'll create a new script called world button. We have a reference to our click behavior like before. And for this, we'll simply call on mouse down. No need to inherit anything. Now for the green button. You'll notice on this game object, we also have a collider, but there's no script or any extra components. The only thing different is we have a layer called button that this game object is assigned to. For this last method, we'll be raycasting into the world and we'll be using this mouse position raycaster game object. We'll create a new script on it and I'll call mine world click for simplicity. Now first, we need a reference to our camera. So camera, my cam, and we'll assign that camera using mycam equals camera.main in the start function. And make sure that your camera is tagged as main camera. We need our click behavior reference. And a public layer mask. We'll assign our click behavior game object. And for our layer mask, we're only looking for interaction with the button layer. Now in the update, if we click our left mouse button, or get mouse button down zero, 
we'll create a ray called ray and it will be my cam dot screen point to ray and the point is input dot mouse position so basically this ray will come from our camera and through the mouse position and hitting anything behind it we'll set up our ray cast physics dot ray cast and we want to use our ray pass out a ray cast hit variable called hit distance of the ray is going to be math f dot infinity and then we'll use our layer mask and if we're inside this block then we hit something in our layer mask so for now just a button and we'll call this method points more and that's it to push our cubes around like before we'll use the same method We'll switch things up and we'll use a tag instead of a layer. We use the same ray, but we'll have another ray cast hit called hit one, since we're already using hit. And then the distance. We won't use the layer mask here, although it is smart to have multiple layer masks so the ray cast isn't running so much logic all the time. But now we'll say if hit one dot transform dot compare tag, and if it's the pushable tag, then we'll just do some simple physics. We'll grab the rigid body off this component. And then we'll add some force to the location of where our ray cast hit. Or hit one dot point. Now in the project, open our cube prefab and make sure they're tagged pushable. That's only a few ways to click around in your game. Hopefully it's somewhat helpful. Until next time, Spawn Camp out.